Hello folks, we're here with the infamous and famous Dayton Does Dayton television show and we're right here smack in the middle of beloved Yellow Springs, Ohio. Who do we got here? My name's Kyle Witt. Kyle, where are you originally from? I'm from New Carlisle, Ohio. New Carlisle, and where do you live now? I live in Huber Heights. Huber Heights, Ohio, pretty close to Dayton. Yep. And you were telling me that you were interested in possibly moving to downtown Dayton, correct? Correct. All right, can we? Can you tell me why? Well, uh, I feel like Dayton, as it's, as a whole on the city, is on the up and up. Um, my mom was actually a travel agent in the 90s, in the early 90s in Dayton, and I remember when Dayton was booming back then, and there was the population was high, and there was a lot of business. And I feel like there's kind of a collective uh, regrowth to the downtown area that's kind of catching catching some wind rays recently. So it's it's really cool to see, and I think it's on the up and up. So that's why. Excellent. Is there anything that's keeping you from moving down there right now, or the next few weeks, or several months, or maybe by the end of the year, or there, anything? There's a part of me that loves uh, the land and being uh, in like a farmhouse type setting, but yeah, I really like the new uh, culture that's kind of accumulating in downtown Dayton and I, I like to see that and I'd like to be a part of it so great is there anything is keeping you from moving downtown right now um well not really it's really? just uh the path of life that I'm on right now um we'll see how it plays out you think maybe it's a little bit too pricey to live downtown maybe that may be one of the reasons uh yeah we've looked at a couple um just smaller uh condos and townhouses and things and it does seem with the, the brand new ones that went in it seems a little bit pricey out of our price range right now um but hopefully that changes what well, do you think it might be a good idea for the the city and the the companies uh from downtown that are mostly from out of town to uh, get on the ball and kind of find some mid-range pricing rather than the high price I think they range. should incentivize local businesses. Um, they should. And incentivize local real estate companies rather than outsourcing and bringing in, you know, uh, I know the big project that they did was outsourced by a lot of people that do kind of like revamp cities and they go from city to city. I think Dayton should be locally owned, locally owned with its people to make it what it is. Great. We appreciate that. Um, I, you agree with me basically that if we get more Dayton people to move in downtown, which as we discussed before the interview, we were discussing on most of the people who live in downtown Dayton really aren't from Dayton and from the surrounding areas. Do you agree with my hypothesis that if we get more affordable housing, and we're, we're not talking about Section 8 housing, HUD housing, we're talking about moderately priced places like $500, $600. You know, do you think that if we get more housing like that in Dayton, it's more affordable for the general person? Don't you agree that we'll have more commodities, more grocery stores, more things to do downtown? I think the more affordable you make the housing and kind of reestablish the middle class of Dayton, um, I think it could bring it back to life quicker. Yeah, I think that's what that's what, what's happening right now. I think we're having higher end housing, which isn't a bad thing. But it's keeping downtown Dayton from growing because a lot of the people that live downtown, they're going shopping in the suburbs rather than shopping where they're living. Right. And we should have some grocery stores in downtown Dayton, right? Right, right. That'd great. Be great. That's great. Uh, that's, to me, that's the heart of the American dream. Local businesses, small businesses um, providing for each other rather than, uh, you know, the big businesses coming in and and cutting out the profits of the locally owned places. So the more local owned businesses and the more affordable housing for locals to move in, I think the better. Great. And uh, again, thank you for watching. This is the Dayton Does Dayton television show and we're here in downtown Yellow Springs. And uh, anyone when you, you wanna say hi to? Uh, yeah, my mom and dad, Greg and Kelly Witt. All right, thank you for watching the famous and infamous, infamous Dayton Does Dayton television show. Thank you very much.